cook another Italian dish. It's called carbonara. This is basically spaghetti or whatever type of pasta you want to use with eggs, pecorino cheese, preferably, parmesan if you don't have pecorino, and guanciale. But I don't have guanciale, I have bacon. So I know it's frowned upon, but that's what I got. Ingredients I'm using Rao's homemade pasta. This is spaghetti. I got a little bit of bacon chopped up. I know, like I said, I don't have guanciale. I don't know where to find it here in Oakland, California, but this is what I got. Two eggs, just the yolks, and pecorino cheese that I've already uh, grated up. Make this uh, spaghetti carbonara here in my cast iron skillet, which I have heating up right now. Hey, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you gotta get one. These things last a lifetime. Well, it's on a low heat right now. We're just gonna go ahead and throw in the, uh, the bacon, AKA baked guanciale. Okay. Let's go ahead and stir this around. We just want this to basically cook down and release all of the oils and the fat. We're just letting the guanciale, I'm sorry, bacon cook down real slowly. It's almost there. So I threw some salt in the water. Now we're gonna throw in the pasta. Can't see shit? Hey, this wouldn't be cooking with alcohol if there was no alcohol. So I took some of the bacon out. Oakland roots, baby. And now we're gonna create the cream with the eggs and the cheese. We're gonna put two egg yolks in. Pecorino cheese. This is gonna create the base and the cream for the carbonara. Give that a minute. All right. Here we go. All right, there we go. More or less, that's what our cream is going to look like. Our egg-based, cheese-based cream. Pecorino cheese, that's made out of goat's milk. If you didn't know, now you know. And there we go. There's our cream. Okay, so the pasta's ready. We got our egg and pecorino cheese mixture. What we're going to do is add a little bit of the pasta water. The starchy pasta water from the pasta. to temper the eggs because we don't want them to scramble up and cook. So we have to temper. Okay, so I've tempered the eggs, add a little bit more cheese to bring the thickness back up, and here we are. Now time to assemble everything. Okay, so we're gonna add the pasta to the pan with the bacon. We turn the heat off because there's enough residual heat there. Okay, so we got that mixing around. And while the pan is still hot, we're gonna go ahead and add the egg mixture egg and pecorino cheese mixture. That's what's gonna make the carbonara. Mix it around liberally. Wow, that smells delicious. There you have it, folks. Carbonara. All right, we're gonna plate the carbonara. Now we add some black pepper. And we're gonna add the remainder of the bacon on top. All right, so we got the carbonara here, bacon on top. I put a little bit more pecorino cheese on top also, but this is it. Woo, man. Let me try this, let you guys know how it is. Wow. Oh my God, so much flavor. The remainder of the bacon grease with the pasta cooking in there. Wow. I can only imagine how much better it would be with actual guanciale. Because all I had was bacon. But it still worked out. Carbonara, folks. Try the recipe and enjoy. You'll love it.